Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. And welcome back. Okay. Welcome back, you so, lovely, beautiful people. This is our theme song. We're the Royal Goobs. Labia. We're the Royal Goobs. Butthole Labia. Butthole Labia. We're the necrosis. Royal Goobs. Shut the fuck up. So, <laughs> no, I don't think I'm uh, germophobic. germophobic <laughs> but I think I am like... Uh, Mm, I'm germophobic when it comes to food. Mm. It's like, if it's like saliva, or if it's been dropped on the ground, or anything like that. Or if like somebody like had a cut in their mouth and blood Open got on sore. Yeah, and like the yeah. the blood got on yeah. the food they were eating, and That's they also hot. they happen to have AIDS, and then they. Yeah. They put the food back on the plate and be like, hey, Elliot, would you like some? Yeah. That grosses you out, too. Well, that's an exception. Oh, really? I'm a seeker. Oh. Look it up. Um, that's a, <laughs> a thing. A seeker? What? Yeah. Look it up. Oh, okay, then. So, I can't. I'm playing Conker's Beer Food. Yeah. If you remind me about it, I'll tell you. I don't know enough about it, but uh, there's like this small community, and I, I don't think it's real, but it might be real, you know, uh, of seekers and hunters or something like that people who are looking to get aids and what the heck? yeah anyway that's messed up google it so yeah i don't need to i believe you <laughs> i don't remember where i heard it maybe it was a podcast and it was a joke it might have been the h3 podcast shout out to ethan if ethan ever watched a clip from my video i'd have to fucking poop my pants because nah. i love h3 and Ela too not just ethan who's Ela? Ela. somebody is... else on the show yeah it's Ethan and Ela. They're married, and they're both super awesome, and they both bring a lot to the table. Cool. Yeah, I love H3. Um, okay, how do you center the goddamn camera? But yeah, man, saliva and just food shit like that is just gross to me. That's all I gotta say, I guess. Zoom out, man. Come on. You want me to do this shit? I'm a god. Oh, no, I got it. I did it first try last oh, time. Oh, you did? Yeah, which I was kind of surprised. I thought I'd fuck it up. Oh, I sure didn't I'll do it quiet. on my first try. Oh, you're fine. You can talk. I got this. Oh, nice. oh, yeah. Oh, man. I almost biffed Ooh. it. I almost went right off the track. Right off the track, my dirt. You know, it's funny how they... <laughs> we didn't even... I can't believe we didn't even mention this. Mr. I.B. Floppy. Ms. Peastain. Oh, I never noticed. Oh, you never did? That's funny. There's a um, ice... Nah, I don't care who y'all. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there's making fish fun? funny right there. <laughs> Mr. R. Soul. Mr. I.P. Freely. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Game Grumps who was making fun of uh, Jeff Foxworthy recently? I don't know. Somebody was. Wait, wait, no, no, no. You were. That was a. Uh, wait, that was Larry the Cable Guy. You were just doing. Oh right, that's Larry the Cable Guy. Somebody it's was funny right there. You know. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That's funny. Yeah, isn't that's yeah. That's either Larry the Cable Guy or that's Jeff Foxworthy, and I think it's Larry the Cable Guy. You're right. Didn't Jeff Foxworthy? Isn't he the one who said, "If you do this, you might be you a redneck. redneck." Yes, that's Jeff Foxworthy. If your gun holster has a gun holster, you might be fucking insane. Because <laughs> yep. who the hell does that shit? Yes, that's Jeff Foxworthy. Okay. Um, kind of the same style of comedy. Okay. Well, okay. No. <laughs> They both have very different delivery. They are both like redneck comedians. That's mm, the only thing. Similar that's what about you them. meant. <laughs> yes, I don't want that to be taken like totally. Wrong. They're the same. They're both <laughs> similar <laughs> people. Jokes. Therefore, their comedy is Not similar. At all. Hey, look at this. The car girl's still alive. If you listen closely, you can hear him go like, <sighs> and his feet are moving. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> Funny uh, call back. Yeah, dude. So I don't remember what else we were talking about, but. Oh no! You you were just finishing up your uh, saliva uh, bullshit. Saliva bullshit. Oh look! I could have done this at the start of the game, but I didn't. Did you, did you know you could do this? Is that CO two or helium? <laughs> That's pretty goofy. And then one more. Didn't you already do this one? Um. Yeah, he does it twice. This is the final one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... Why is it... So they can't say fuck, but they can say feck? Yeah. What's wrong with... Huh. I never understood that. I don't know. Maybe if they say fuck too many times, they're worried about getting slapped with an AO rating. Hmm. Adult only. That rating's kind of gone now, though, yeah? AO? Adult only? Yeah, I, I, like, never see it anymore. 
Yeah. Probably. I mean, it was rare even when it was around, like, the N64 days, but... Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think my dad played one adults-only game once. It was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even fucking know what it is, but I don't think I've ever played one before. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, James. Fascinating. <laughs> how do these flowers make you feel? Uh, they make me feel like a bumblebee, like I want to watch a cutscene about World War II, man. Ah! Uh- potato skinners and make me a goddamn potato dinner <laughs> i don't like potato skins okay you can give them to all my buttholes i like putting them in my butt because then people won't eat them because they got poop on them and semen because i like to come in my own ass so there's always a little bit of semen in my butthole well but that's besides the point this guy will eat those potato skins but that's because he has an iq even lower than king cletus uh, <laughs> Anyways, if you don't give me your goddamn potatoes, uh, I'll find you, and I'll make you a potato. <laughs> Fucking hippie. Very nicely done, Thanks. King Cletus. Thanks. You know, it, w- one thing you said there, uh, when you said coming in my own butthole. <laughs> the, oh, you did that too? Well, it, it just reminded me of, like, I remember one time in middle school, I wasn't always the best with insults, like, or comebacks. Like, I never, like, th- try to think of insults to go up and randomly just make fun of people like a bully but yeah. people would like you know tease me a lot like most people get teased in middle school and for a while i was like oh, i need to have some comebacks ready in case it happens in case it strikes you know <laughs> Th- that's something i got really paranoid about and one time there's this one kid named let's just call him jay he was kind of a douchey kid his name was jay and he uh <laughs> and at one point, I was like, you know what I'm going to say to him next time he's a douche? I'm going to say, hey, Jay, go pull your dick, stretch it over your shoulder, whirl it down, and shove it up your own ass. And I don't think I ever did. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what, how's that for a comeback? Mm, not very good. Not very good. <laughs> it's not really insulting. No, not really. And if anything, it kind of implies he has a large penis. Yeah. Which normally, I mean, who knows? Is uh, more of a good thing could be unless it's so big that you cannot you have, have to stretch sex. around your goddamn shoulder yeah that's probably a pain in the ass <laughs> um yeah i'd rate that at about a one <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey at least it's not a zero yeah i was pretty good at coming up with comebacks and shit like that but oh i believe that people didn't really make fun of me because again i was like so tall and yeah i was tall too but oh. i still got teased i you know i got teased by short kids Oh. Every now and then, I just beat up the short kids. No, you didn't. Yeah, I like kicked them in the teeth. And really? Like, you want your teeth back? You better go to my goddamn dentist, because he says you're a little bitch and you can't have your teeth back unless you lick his ass. Oh my. So you better get practicing the ABCs with your tongue, because you're gonna <laughs> about to have an exam. <laughs> um. No, nah, I didn't beat up kids. That'd be fucked up. No, nah, Elliot, Elliot, and I were we were good boys growing up. Just kidding. I beat them up all the time, and I took their teeth. And I took him to the dentist, and then the dentist said, you better practice your ABCs, and then he said, you "You better lick my ass. You're just repeating what you just said. I'm kidding, I don't beat up kids. Elegant rock stuck on loop. (laughs) (laughs) I knew that was going to happen. Um, fuck, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, but yeah, normally growing up, I mean, I'm six foot three. Um, (laughs) more like six foot tree <laughs> and uh oh dude fucking good one high <laughs> five can we get a super good lack track and a guitar riff no <laughs> you get a boo track um can i get a laugh track now no can i get a guitar riff anyways with the boo track like, halfway i remember I like goddamn... stop interrupting me you little <laughs> i was gonna say but that's kind of a strict one that's kind of a mean one <laughs> yeah you can bleep that one bitch <laughs> nah um <laughs> So, um, what I was going to say was, yeah, growing up, a few shorter kids definitely picked on me, and I, I'm not going to act like it was all because they were jealous of me being really tall, but, um, no, that was definitely a trend with me growing up. There's one kid, especially, who, there was one time during a... Tickled your tizzy? There's one time during a freaking uh, what's it called when you have a, an event in, like, the gymnasium and everybody has to be there? An assembly? An ass- there was an assembly... <laughs> And he was sitting next to me, and he did this little th- thing where you t- 
pat your lap with your hands. You go dum dum da 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 dum dum da da, and then you tap the get pat the lap of the person sitting next to you. Okay. So it, it's like yeah, I, I get it. Dum dum da da. So he started doing that to me, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna join in the fun. I went dum dum da da dum dum da, and he just looked at me and said, no, James, just no. I'm like I'm like what? Just just no, James. I'm like, Sounds like a middle school dickhead. And I was like, well, what did I do? Yeah. Of course, that was me at an insecure, at my insecure point in my life, where I'd be like, oh, I did something wrong. It's never them. It's always me. <laughs> yeah. No, that guy just sounds like an ass muncher. Oh, he 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 probably he might still be. Uh. Well, I, good thing because I'm gonna take his teeth, send him to the dentist, and he's gonna have tons of practice munching ass. And I know. He'll get ABC his, kind of lingus the asshole. I he'll know. get his teeth back. Next time on Royal Goobs, I reset Elliot Bot. At the dentist. Mm-hmm. Where we can practice our ABCs. Mm-hmm. On his butt. <laughs>